Hi guys, it's Talking During the Movie and I'm here with another video and I'm just here to complain. That's why I'm here, just to complain. I'm sick of people praising Kim Kardashian for meeting with the president. While I do respect her efforts in prison reform, I do think there's a double standard there that needs to be talked about. When other people have met with the president and they were met with criticism, for example, Meek Mill, who just recently got out of prison, was going to meet with the president, but was told by Jay-Z not to because of the backlash. So to me, this Kim Kardashian meeting with Donald Trump is just another way that these Kardashian girls can move in the world the way regular black people can't. Or regular people in general can't. If any other person, no matter what they were doing, was meeting with this president, we would have casted them out and thrown them to the trash but somehow she gets away with it and I don't understand why and I feel like there's a bigger issue here where she's trying to normal normalize this presidency normalize this president and normalize the celebrities meeting with this president but more importantly beyond Kim Kardashian I think my biggest issue is this is some weird stuff have we gotten to the point in the society where celebrities' voices matter more than people who have been educated or have experience in a subject? Kim Kardashian walking her big fat ass up to the White House has more relevancy than someone who has experienced this prison system or judges or lawyers or people who work and move in this prison system. Why do we care what Kim Kardashian has to say or who she's meeting with who is she it really reminds me of that dave chappelle clip i remember right around september 11th uh ja rule was on mtv that's what they said, they said we got ja rule on the phone let's see what ja's thoughts are on this tragedy who gives a fuck what ja rule thinks at a time like this nigga this is ridiculous i don't want to dance i'm scared to death i want some answers that ja rule might not have right now this goes exactly to what I say in my um, Kanye West is crazy or Kanye West is tripping video about you guys love celebrities. You guys adore them. You worship them like gods and it's disgusting. These people, these celebrities that you love and worship are trash. Uh, like I would say about 89% of the time they are garbage people. They're drug addicts. They're sex addicts. They got fucking demons following their asses around. And you guys want to be just like them. Why? Because they have money? Like, that's the thing that kills me is, like, we live in this capitalistic society that puts money above everything else. So money is more important. Someone who has money, and someone who doesn't have money, someone who just has attention, is more important than someone who is well-educated and well-versed in the subject. Their views matter more than someone who has been doing this and so to me that doesn't make any sense you can get views and money by shaking your ass or having a, a sex tape you know what i mean so why don't we why have we become a society where people who are educated where people who are informed have become the enemy and people who don't know anything about a subject have become the people talking about the subject and I know I'm not the first person to say this or feel this or think this, but when it comes to this Kim Kardashian thing, I saw a lot of people saying, at least she's trying, at least she's trying. No, no, no. Because when um, Chrisette Michelle said she was going to sing at um, Donald Trump's inauguration, we canceled Chrisette. Perform. I said, we have to be seen. Somebody's got to see us. The Democrats aren't even coming. I've got to be one and I've got to be there. Uh, they've got to hear from us. They got to see what we look like, see what we think like, and see what we think. Because I was watching TV saying, I know he ain't talking to me. You and I feel like she's doing this calculatedly in a calculated attempt to get us to normalize this presidency, normalize her husband aligning himself with his presidency and normalized celebrities being in the White House. I have decided in 2020 to run for president. 
and wanting us to forget that this man is a racist and the only reason he's interested in prison reform is because his son-in-law's father went to prison and they're about to go to prison so that's all i have for you today so if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel where i'll be talking about lots of things and just complaining